Hello, and this is a new series I am starting, and it is HTML and CSS for beginners. So, I'm assuming if you are interested in web development at all, then uh, that is probably why you're, you are here today. So, uh, I just want to tell you right off the bat, we are going to be working with HTML5 and CSS3. So... Uh, and I will also in this episode be going through a basic template of uh, something that you can use for most of your websites and throughout this series I will try and cover just about everything that you are going to need to know for HTML and uh, hopefully by the end you can be making your own websites so first I'm gonna start talking about your editor so your editor is uh, what you want to be programming your HTML in. Now, you don't need to install HTML or anything like that because your browser already knows how to read HTML and turn it into a website. So, uh, all we need is an editor. So, uh, I got a new keyboard too, by the way. So, if you hear clicking, that's just that. But uh, basically, the editor I'm going to be using is Notepad. So, just Google Notepad. And if you want to download and install Notepad, go to download and then go to uh, the installer right here this is for Windows basically if you know um, how to install stuff then this is just really what you want to uh, just look for over here on the downloads tab so uh, if you want to go ahead and install that go ahead sublime text is also a really good one so Google sublime text you can use two or three uh, they're all both really good so uh, just go to the download page and find your operating system and then download it so if you're on Windows do the Windows unless you're 64 bit then download 64 bit and then you have Ubuntu 32 and 64 and then OS X up here at the top okay so we've um we've been talking about editors I'm using Notepad++, so you're just going to go through the installer on that if you're using it. But this will work the same way. So here's my desktop right here, this uh, black thing. And uh, I'm going to set up the folder really quick. So what you want to do is you want to set up a new folder called website or whatever you want to call your website. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's in a folder. And you want to create a new folder in here. And you want this to be uh, do a JS lowercase. This will be for Java, or actually, don't worry about JS. Do um, new folder IMG, new folder HTML, and that should be good for now. So, if we go ahead and minimize this, and we open up our editor, and if you're using Notepad plus plus, a new file should come up. Just hold Control if you're on Windows and press S and it will be to the save as thing go to wherever you saved your website folder I saved mine on my desktop go into there and don't uh, save it into any of these folders now what you want to do is you want to save this as uh, for the type you want to save it as an HTML so a hypertext markup language and I'm trying to find it up here here we go and this is the dot HTML extension so uh, change the name this is very important change it to index index and make sure you just save it outside of all these folders but put it inside your website folder and basically what this does is uh, the index file is the first file that your browser will be looking for when you create HTML files so now I'm gonna create a basic template so you want to start off with the less than and the greater than sign now Everything inside of this sign right here, I'm going uh, are tags. So, the first thing you want is a doc type HTML, and you do the doc type in all caps, and then HTML. And uh, I'm going to make sure my language is on HTML. So if I do H HTML, okay. So this is how you use Windows or not Windows, sorry, HTML5 and it basically just tells your browser you're going to use HTML5 so uh, since we will be using HTML5 this is what you want to do up at the top of your browser next you want to have a uh, less than and greater greater than sign uh, like the other tag up here and you just want 
to uh, put in here you want to do HTML and you need to close tags and how you do that is you less than forward slash and then the tag that you're gonna close not all tags uh, you don't have to close all tags so there will be some tags I will show you that you do not have to close but most of them you will have to close HTML being one of those tags now make sure that when you open the tag you have to close it or else HTML won't know what you want to do so the HTML tag basically just says that everything under this will be HTML and uh, white space doesn't really matter in HTML but I prefer to indent to know which ones which so inside of your HTML tags we are going to nest a uh, head tag and basically what nesting means is just putting like a tag inside of a tag so inside of you need to close the head tag as well and uh, basically what the head tag does is it just tells the browser um, the information about your website so you want to put a title in here and you need to close their title so uh, just do it like we always do with slash title and then this is going to be the name of your web page so like when you open up your browser this uh, here I'll show you actually in this this is your title up here on your tab so it'll be sublime text and then download that is your title of your web page so I'm just gonna call mine my website and then uh, like I said this is just where all the information about your um, web page will be to your browser so under your uh, head tag you don't need to put anything in here you are going to have a body tag so if we just go ahead and create that body tag really quick and I tab this in now everything inside of this body tag basically what the body is is um, everything that you can see here so uh, like the sublime text is a body download and then all this text up here yeah this is part of the body all of this the bug fixes and the build stuff yeah this is all part of your body so I'm gonna create an empty tab really quick here so basically uh, I'm going to just do an h1 so an h1 is a header and I'll be getting into headers next episode and talk about all of this stuff uh, that you need to know about headers and stuff like that so <clears throat> Header 1 is just the biggest header, and if you're going to close a header, you have to close it. Uh, so if you have an H1, you need to close an H1. So I'm just going to put hello world and save it. And then if you go into your folder over here, double click index.html, you have just made your first website. Now it's not put on the internet just yet. Uh, but this this is your very first website you just made a website that says hello world and the title of it is my website so that is the basic template that you really need to know in HTML in order to create a website now whatever you want can be added inside of the body so like I can have a P and I'll also talk about this and I could just say this is some text save that and then run it or reload it make sure you reload and there's our paragraph right there so this is the basic template of html now i hope you've learned just a little bit about html we'll be touching on more on html in the next episode and later on in the future so i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and if you have any questions Put them in the comments below and I will be more than happy to answer them for you and I will see you guys in the next one.